Broadbill swordfish. They are called the gladiators of the sea and for good reason. They are absolutely incredible. This is a brilliant predator. This is not a king mackerel. Who fishes out of Hillsborough Inlet? Here locally, right? Fort Lauderdale, Boca. Obviously, most of us are fishing here locally. There's ideal swordfish grounds, you know, swordfish territory. Ideal everywhere from, oh gosh, Palm Beach all the way down off the Keys. But certainly here from Boca all the way down to Miami is the honey hole. You know, that's the epicenter of a hot swordfish bite is right out here. So, and because you're drifting, remember we talked about the Gulf Stream current? How fast does the Gulf Stream current move? Anywhere from minimum three to four knots, maximum five plus knots, okay? So it's not like you're going out there and you're stopping on an X and saying, hey, I'm gonna fish right here. You can stop on that X in a mile, you're five mile. I mean, in an hour, you're five miles away. You're covering a lot of ground, okay? So it's not like wreck fishing to where you're going out there and trying to literally fish right on one set of GPS numbers. That's not what it's about. It's about fishing a particular depth. That's what it's about. The ideal depth at night to fish for swordfish is anywhere from 900 to 1300 feet. 900 to 1300 feet. If I had to narrow that down even more, I would say 1,000 to 1,200 feet would really be ideal. Now, even though they're on the bottom in up to 2,000 feet of water during the day, okay, and usually 16, 17, 1,800 feet, that 1,600 to 1,800 foot is where we're primarily targeting these fish during the day, right on the bottom. But at night, when they come up, they're not coming straight up they're coming inside and up. Does that kind of make sense? You know, they're coming inshore and up. So anywhere from 1,000 to 1,200 feet, like I said, is ideal. However, you're not always gonna drift due north, depending on the conditions. If you have a little bit of a southeast breeze, and if I stop my boat right here, instead of drifting due north, I may drift a little bit inshore. I may start at 1300, but end up at 1000. I may, you know, on the other hand, if I have a southwest breeze, I may start in 1000 and it may push me out to 1300 feet. Does that make sense to everybody? So get out there, stop the boat. Okay, stop the boat in 1200 feet of water. Okay, just stop 1200 feet of water, don't do a thing, and just pay attention for a little while. Okay, look at your chart plotter determine which way am I drifting? Am I being pushed inshore? Am I being pushed offshore? Am I drifting straight north? Okay, determine that. And then reposition your boat accordingly so you can drift across all of that prime territory. Okay, and it's easy to determine because like I said, if you have a southeast breeze or an easterly breeze, one thing's for sure, I'm not being pushed that way. I know I'm being pushed this way. On the contrary, if I have a westerly breeze, I know I'm not being pushed into the wind. I know I'm gonna be pushed offshore. So just think about that logic. If you have any wind from the west, stop on the shallower side. If you have any wind from the east, stop on the deeper side. Everybody picking up what I'm throwing down here? Okay, this way, when you're drifting, and you will be drifting north, there's absolutely no doubt. If, if you go out there and you drift south, it, you got a problem, right? Yeah, something's wrong. So positioning is very, very important to make sure that you are drifting in that strike zone of 900 to 1300 feet, either somewhere due north or of course drifting across that alley. You know, we'll call it Swordfish Alley. And it could be anywhere from Miami all the way up here to Boca. What we like to do, we fish out of Hillsborough Inlet. So when I leave to go sword fishing, guess what direction I'm moving in, right? Doesn't that make sense? I'm gonna run down to Hollywood, okay? And this way at the end of the night, when it's time for me to come home, I'm right there. Okay, and I've got a 40 minute ride home, sometimes even less, depending on how fast I wanna go at night, you know? I mean, sometimes even less. 
I'm not gonna start here and end up 20 miles north of here, okay? Or so again, play it by ear depending on where you live and you know where your home port is, okay? Keep that in mind.